Good to see you up instead of thrashing about in your sleep. You must have been having one hell of a nightmare. I was wondering if you were ever going to wake up. I'm Karth, one of the Republic soldiers from the Endar Spire. I was with you in the escape pod. Do you remember? I'm not surprised. You took a serious blow to the head. You're probably having all kinds of strange dreams. I wouldn't worry too much about it. You've been slipping in and out of consciousness for a couple of days now, so I imagine you're pretty confused about things. But try not to worry. We're safe. At least for the moment. We're in an abandoned apartment on the planet of Terrace. We were banged up pretty bad when our escape pod crashed, but luckily I wasn't seriously hurt. I was able to drag you away from our crash site and all the confusion, and I stumbled into this abandoned apartment. By the time... Terrace is under Sith control. Their fleet is orbiting the planet, they've declared martial law, and they've imposed a planet-wide quarantine. But I saw in your service records that you understand a remarkable number of alien languages. That's pretty rare in a raw recruit. There is no way the Republic will be able to get anyone through the Sith blockade to help us. That smack to your head did more damage than I thought. Bastila's a Jedi. She was with the strike team that killed Darth Revan, Malak's Sith Master. Bastila's the key to the whole Republic war effort. I believe Bastila was on one of the escape pods that crashed down here on Terra. I don't, but Bastila's young, and she has a powerful command of the Force. We survived the crash. Besides, what's the alternative? Bastila is no ordinary Jedi. She has a rare gift the Jedi call battle meditation. Through the Force, Bastila can inspire her allies with confidence and make her enemies lose their will to fight. Of course, there are limits to what she can do, but from what I understand of her ability, it requires great concentration. The attack on the Endar Spire happened so fast, she never had a chance. Bastila's gonna need our help. Many of Darth Malak's followers can use the dark side of the Ford. Nobody will be looking for a couple of common soldiers like us. She's gonna have half the Sith fleet looking for. The whole planet is under quarantine. While you were out, I did some scouting around. There are reports of a couple, but the Undercity's a dangerous place. Good idea. We can use this abandoned apartment as a base. I've heard some grim story, but I figure if we don't do anything stupid, we should be okay. Okay, you alien scum. Everybody get up against the wall. This is a raid. That's how we sit deal with smart mouth aliens. Now the rest of you get up against the wall before I lose my temper again. Hey, what's this? Humans hiding out with aliens. They're Republic fugitives. Attack! You ask Ina Tong hai tuam jiji jum lumpa. Nita poe tikito. Dolpa da. Runda di hotonga kun hunka bi. Wana kun bez ching pa. Chi gratu loda bograshi on neon kumba chin tongo mochuba. Loda di ta kun. Ita ta kung jus tak miki grabble mogo. Kachichu ita bodunga. 
Turbo Bank, Waleo Ganda Naru, Chuchut. And I can tell you from experience that they aren't any good at all against a simple vibroblade. That's why the Republic has been training soldiers in hand to hand and melee combat. Tong Hai Tuam Jiji Jung Lumpa Nita Poe Tikito Dolpa da Bongwaleo Gondona Chuchut Takum Jus Tak Miki Grabul Mogo Kachichu Ita Bodunga Dolpa Chi Gratu Loda Bograshi Onion Kumba Chin Tondo Muchu Dolpa da Bongwale Gondona Gugu Chuchut Kava Dunku Runda Di Hotunga Kun Hunka Di Tong abog sha umnina. We ita nan dayata. What are you ma? Tag this ju bongko koki magpanka. Ching pala chiska mula. Chan shak bulara. Umrao chiska duchi. We tam boragatong. Mulira a shang turung. We eat a nut. Tug, be chan shock. We tam. A chuta. Hey there, what, 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 what were you walking? I just cleaned those floors. My name's Kadir. I'm the janitor for this building. You must be the new tenant here. Mm. You look like an off-worlder. Don't know how much I can tell you, but seeing as how you're new here, I guess I could try and help you out. Decent enough place to live, I guess, except for the lower levels. That's where the swoop gangs hang out. You also might want to check out the cantina. I used to go there when I was younger. Good place to get a drink and find out what's going on in the... Just keep following the apartment complex ring until you come to the elevator. It'll... I should get back to work anyway. and good day. On behalf of the new Sith rulers, I am programmed to encourage you to enjoy your stay on Taris. I am a protocol droid programmed to provide information to everyone on Taris, citizens and visitors alike. Is there something I can do to serve you? The Sith are the new authority here on Taris. They seek to preserve the customs of our world, or so I am told. More than this I cannot say. May I be of any further service to you? I am afraid that is impossible. Taris is currently under a planet-wide quarantine. The Sith are allowing no one to arrive or leave, except on official Sith business. May I be of any further service to you? The Taris Tourism Board has issued a strong warning to all visitors to avoid the lower city. It is a violent and dangerous place you would do well to avoid. May I be of any further service to you? Alien species have restricted access to the upper city. This is one of the most ancient traditions of Tarot. Of course, I have yet to see them arrest a single alien. May I be of any further? I am an 
employee of the Taras government programmed to provide information and guidance to any who require it. May I be of any... Then if you will excuse me. Can't you see it? I see from your appearance that you are an off-worlder. Still, you are welcome here. I will not have it said that Selka Foreign refused to help somebody just because they weren't a citizen of Terra. Do you require healing or medical supplies? I can treat almost any injury or ailment right here. The terrible affliction has plagued Terrace for many generations. It is spread by the Rack Ghouls, horrible monsters that live in the Undercity below Terrace's great skyscrapers. Prolonged exposure to the Undercity breeds the disease, and those infected will eventually mutate into Rack Ghouls themselves, becoming mindless beasts that feed on the flesh of others. Mm, there is no antidote for the disease, though I heard the Republic scientists at the military base here on Terrace were close to perfecting a cure. Then the Sith arrived. They overran the military base, and now they refuse to allow anyone access to the laboratories inside. The Sith are keeping all the serum for the patrols they send into the Undercity. If I could just get my hands on a sample of that serum, the Rat Ghoul disease could be wiped from the face of Terrace forever. I don't see how anyone could get their hands on that serum. The military base is crawling with Sith guards. Breaking in there would be a suicide mission. I suppose the Sith patrols in the Undercity might have a sample of the serum on them, if they hadn't already used it because of a rat ghoul infection. But I doubt a patrol would just hand the serum over. And nobody is stupid enough to attack one of the Sith patrols, even in the under... Please, don't say that! If the Sith hear you, they might think I'm suggesting you start attacking them. I only mentioned the serum. It will just take me a moment while I examine your injuries, and then I'll administer the proper treatment. Talk to you about the Rat Ghoul serum. I've got an offer for you you might want to hear. Zelka isn't the only one who wants to get his hands on the Rat Ghoul serum. Davik Kang will pay you ten times what Zelka can if you can get the cure. Oh, come on. Everybody knows who Davik Kang is. He's the big boss around here. Gambling, smuggling, extortion. He's got a piece of all the action on Taras. I prefer to think of him as a role model. He started with nothing, and now he's got it all. Credits, power, women. It's the Teresian dream. Davik's interested in anything that can turn a profit. He could make a fortune selling the serum to anyone infected with the disease. Not like Zelka, who'll practically give it away. Helping people is all well and good, but you have to help yourself first, right? I'm telling you, Davik will pay big credits for the cure. And then only the rich could afford the cure. Just let the poor suffer, right? If you find the Rakul serum, just take it to Zax in the Lower City Bounty Office. He works for Davik. He'll pay you what that cure is really worth. Don't you just love watching the Fazak players? All that strategy, all those credits, the 
That's enough to make a girl get all flush. What do you want? Have you come here just to bother me, or do you wish to test yourself against the best Pazak player on Taurus? <laughs> you don't even have your own deck? Then why are you bothering me if you're serious about Pazak? Go speak to old Garok on the other side of the tavern. His gambling days are over, and uh, he's looking to sell his deck. Hi there. I haven't seen you around before. Of course, they don't give us Sith officers from the military base much time off. I'm off duty right now, so I'm not in uniform. My name is Sana, junior officer, first class with the Sith Occupation Force. I'm actually a little surprised you're talking to me at all. Most of the people here on Taurus can't stand us Sith. They can make this job pretty lonely. Say the sympathetic best friend act. I'm not... But I don't want to fill out a bunch of paperwork on my day off, so let's just pretend this... Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than me. Yeah, that lower city is nothing but a slum. If this... Isn't this band great? They can't leave Terrace because of the Sith quarantine, so they've been playing here. Nice outfit. I've seen outcasts in the Undercity who dress better than me. Where did you get those clothes? A trash compactor in the... Careful what you say. I get the feeling this spoiled brat could cause us more trouble than she's worth. Why is the help here so incompetent? One word from Daddy and I could get you fired. It's too late for apologies. Daddy's going to hear about this. You'll lose your job for sure. This Theresian ale is fantastic. We should have conquered this planet ages ago. Let me enjoy my drink in peace. And I, I wish the off-duty Sith would stop coming in here for drinks. It's a good thing a few of the Sith come in here to relax when they're off-duty. You like Pazak? I used to watch it all the time when Gelrug was playing here. He had some great matches against me. I can't believe we couldn't get arena tickets for this match! Now we'll have to watch the duel on the view screen. Who cares? It's Duncan and Gurlon fighting. It's not like we're gonna miss anything good. Shh, they're about to start, so quit complaining and just watch the view screen. Ladies and gentlemen, I draw your attention to the dueling ring. Here, two combatants will battle for your viewing and gambling enjoyment. Now, I hope all your bets are down because we're ready to roll. In this corner, I give you Gurlon Twofinger. And over here, looking to climb the ranks yet again, is the ever-persistent Deadeye Duncan. To nobody's great surprise, Deadeye is down again. Don't worry, folks, he's just unconscious. As usual, our medics will have him up and about in a bit. Well, that was quick, wasn't it? So I give you the winner, Girl on Two Fingers.
to nabuk sa umne dom. Kada vrt pamlisli kumat. Fibro blades and blasters? And nobody ever dies. How come I get the feeling you're trying to take us for a ride? Jiyoka kon bolera. Kim kon jo pesha. No ba bolera ji. This is for the best. We could use those credits from these duels, but using your real name is too risky. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. You've seen him lose night after night after night, but this time he's after fresh meat. In this corner, I give you Deadeye Duncan! And in the other corner, a relative newcomer to the Terrace dueling scene, emerging from the shadows with no history, no past, and no name, the mysterious stranger! to do better than that to impress us, stranger. Yes, what's on your mind? Terrace? The planet's all one big city, but its golden years are long past. And things have gotten worse since this. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers, and if you're poor, you live down in the shadows. And it gets worse the lower you go. Well, that's all I can think of, at any rate. You got it. Ladies and gentlemen, draw your eyes to the center ring. We have a very special presentation in store for you. In this corner, one of the greats, a man so tough, even a disfiguring injury couldn't end his career. <laughs> I give you girl on two fingers. And in the other corner, a relative nuke. Let's <laughs> go. 
His injuries have finally caught up with him? Or is the mysterious stranger for real? Only time will tell. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. conquered this planet, but do they have to come in here, relax, and rub their presence in our faces? You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do your nice outfit. It's a good thing. You aren't from Terrace, are you? Do yourself a favor and stay away from uh -huh. Teresian Ale. Packs more kick than most off worlders can handle. No hard feelings, my good man, but I can't really talk with you right now. It's difficult enough to draw the interest of the ladies in this establishment as it is. Surely you understand what I'm talking about. I'd get... Yes, what's in your mind? You got it. I wish the off-duty Sith would... Sorry, but I'm not here looking for... I don't wear my uniform when I'm off duty. It's not allowed. In fact, anyone in uniform is banned from entering the cantina. The officers don't like it when we show up here off duty. Don't like us fraternizing with the locals, I guess. But it gets pretty stale hanging out around the base all the time. Besides, the Sith don't own me. Being a soldier in their fleet is just a job, you know? A job with long hours and low pay, I might add. When I signed up, I was promised adventure and excitement in exotic locales. Instead, I end up stationed at a military base on some backwater planet on the fringes of the galaxy. If I could just find some other way to earn some credits, I could give up this lousy job. Retire my uniform, so to speak. Back at the military base, of course. I keep it there when I'm off duty. If anything happens to it, they dock the cost from my pay. What? Are you offering me a bribe? You realize this is true? The truth is, I find your offer rather tempting. I could probably get you some uniforms. But if we get caught, we're dead. You're asking me to take an awful risk. If I'm going to do this, it's going to cost you. 200 credits up front if you want to get inside the base. No more, no less. So, how about it? You have a deal? Look, I'm not going to risk my neck in this... Sorry to hear that, but I won't. Well, you. Sorry to hear that, but. Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. <laughs> no hard feelings, my good man. But I can't really talk. Surely you understand. 
Well, you here to close our deal? Okay, you've got a deal. The trick is to get you the uniforms without the Sith knowing I gave them to you. But I've got a plan. I'm going to a party with some of the other soldiers tonight. Most people are coming right after their shift, so they'll have their uniforms with them. You show up, and I'll make sure everyone else gets good and drunk. When we pass out, you can take our uniforms from the lockbox in the apartment. I'll probably get a reprimand for not locking it up, but that's about it. Then in another month, I'll resign and retire with all those credits you gave me. Here, I'll add the address of the party to your data pad. Show up there later. To be on the safe side, we shouldn't speak again before or after the party. I'll go make all the arrangements and I'll see you at the party tonight. Just remember, if you get caught with those uniforms, I don't know you. Gavik says you missed your last payment. Here, I I've got 50 credits, a down payment. That should buy me some time, right? Sorry, you're out of time. Now it's all or nothing. Davik can't have people not paying his debts. But I don't have that much. How can I give you credits I don't have? <laughs> No, help! Somebody help! They're going to kill me! I know we have to be careful about drawing attention to ourselves, but are we gonna just let them drag this guy off? Hold on a second. Looks like we got ourselves a witness here. <laughs> Life. Those bounty hunters are going to take me away and kill me. My wife warned me not to take a loan from Tatic. Now I can't pay him back. It's not good to owe a crime lord money. He'll just keep sending more bounty hunters after me till I'm dead. You already helped me by saving me from those bounty hunters, so unless you have a spare 100 credits to give me so I can pay off Tavik, there's nothing else you can do. I'm getting out of here before any more of Davik's goons show up. You should do the same. Yes, what's on your mind? Me? Well, I've been a star pilot for the Republic for years. I've seen more than my share of wars. I fought in the Mandalorian Wars before all this started. But with all that, I've never experienced anything like the slaughter of these Sith animals could unleash. Not even the Mandalorians were that senseless. My home world was one of the first planets to fall to Malak's fleet. The Sith bombed it into submission, and there wasn't a damn thing our Republic forces could do to stop them. I'm just a soldier. I go where the fleet admirals tell me to. I follow my orders and I do my duty. It, it's just... <sighs> Doesn't seem right that doing that means I failed. I, I didn't. Yeah, no, I... That's not what I mean. I mean, I, I'm sorry, I'm not making much sense. Am I? You probably mean well with your questions. I'm just not accustomed to talking about my past very much. At all, actually. I'm more used to taking action keeping my mind focused on the business at hand. So let's just do that. If you have more questions, ask them later.
elevator is off limits. Only Sith patrols and those with proper authorization are allowed into the lower city. It's obvious from the way you're dressed that you're not one of the Sith patrols, so unless you have the authorization papers, you must move along. If you were supposed to have them, you'd know where to get them. Now quit wasting my time and move along. I'm not here to give you information. I work for the Sith, not the Taurus Taurus board. Now just move along, unless you have the proper authorization papers. Thank <laughs> you.